on this uh, New Year's Eve. As we close out uh, this year, it is appropriate that we are in Revelation 22, and tonight we're in verses 6 through 11. Tyler? Then he said to me, These words are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. Now I, John, saw and heard these things, and when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then he said to me, See that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets, and of those who keep the words of this book, worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. All right. Well, since you picked this passage, did you have something about this passage that intrigued you or caused you to want to use this as one of our two choices for the end of the year? Um... Well, Tyler cogitates that. I do want you to notice holy angels never receive worship. This is how you know Jesus is greater than the angels because Jesus never rejected anyone worshiping him uh, during his mission and ministry. And Jesus never refused anyone calling him God either. Let those sink in. So... Um, you say, why do you say that? Because there are some people out there that say that Jesus was one of the holy angels in human form. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to get into it. Point is, angels don't re holy angels don't receive worship. Now, fallen angels will because they're in rebellion. But holy angels, because they're in obedience to God, they don't do that. So, just something, something to point out there. Uh, verse 10. Okay. Uh, and he said to me, do not seal the words of this prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Is this, isn't it earlier in uh, Revelation that God says, do not um, write this part down. Uh, this is for you only. And then there was like something like in the next chapter where he's like, this part write down. Yeah. And then <clears throat> he said, and then this one is, no, do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book for the time. And, and what you're pointing out, when you go back to the book of Daniel, Daniel will be told to seal up the words of the prophecy. Daniel got some revelation, and then finally the Lord says, no, because this, is, this doesn't pertain to the generation reading it. Whereas the words of the prophecy of Revelation, even though the last basically three chapters, Revelation 20, 21, and 22, are the end of time and the last half of 19 are the end of time the bulk of the book of revelation was written for the people then um and tyler's right john was told what don't write this part down and then he was told to resume writing um and that should tell us that when we come to the book of revelation uh it's a book to be understood it was a book to be understood by the people who originally received it. It wasn't a mystery to those people in those seven churches. Let that one sink in. They understood the imagery and they understood the times and what was going on in it when they received it. Because the Lord pronounced a blessing. Blessed is he that reads it. And blessed are they that hear it. So there was a blessing. This book started out with blessing. Oddly enough, the book closes with blessing. But the book is not closed up that it can't be understood. It was left open because the events contained in it, unlike what Daniel wrote about, that were anywhere from 300 to 700 years in the future. What's written in Revelation and I'm serious when I say this. From the last half of chapter 19 to the end of chapter 22, that's for the end of all time. Everything, though, from chapter 1 to the middle of chapter 19 was for the people of that time. And they, like us, share in the hope of what takes place from the middle of chapter 19 to the end of the book. And God didn't want them 
to not understand it. So he says, don't seal up this. Make sure this word gets out so that these churches and the church in general knows to stay faithful. Some other thoughts? No, sir. And uh, so where we close out this year and what I want to encourage you is take the parts of the scripture that you know, that you understand, and there's plenty of pieces of scripture that you understand that maybe this year you didn't do very well with. Make it your resolution this next year to apply those passages that you know you let slack last year and let that be your goal in your spiritual growth to start to do the good things and make the changes in your person that you know you need to from the scripture. It's not sealed up. It's an open book literally and figuratively or literally and spiritually it's an open book for your benefit with that i'm brian reagan this is tyler keller we bid you good night we uh pray that you will have a blessed new year and that you will achieve in christ the things that you desire to for his glory your benefit and the salvation of souls with that, good night, and thank you for being with us this year.